I've always wanted to help people. To pay it forward. To lead others to make a change. And together we can uh, make a positive contribution. The power of the invisible makes the visible powerful. Hidden behind the machines, wealth and structures are confidence, conviction, decision, passion. At the foundation of any urban innovation, be it the economy, law or technology and infrastructure, is the delicate science of cultural and social integration. These are the cords that bind a society. The relationships between people. The social sciences. The Singapore University of Social Sciences provides vital applied training. Whether it's humanities, management or languages, law or science and technology, to create in students the instincts to help understand, manage, and solve the issues that affect society. We share knowledge because more minds find more solutions. We open minds and create passion to do meaningful work. And we constantly refresh, innovate, and invigorate. Because as the world turns and changes, we should too. We look at human society and at what it needs. We empower people to keep learning, to discover their potential, to change, and to shape the world. It's really important to have lifelong learning. I will continue to expand myself, because when I improve myself, it inspires others around me. Anyone can make a change as long as we're willing to take a step. Change has to start from yourself. As soon as you improve yourself, change will happen.
Congratulations on achieving this major milestone. You have finished what you started and you are now a graduate of SUSS. They say that every end has a new beginning. So where do you go from here? In the next chapter of your lives, do apply what you have learned over the past few years and believe in yourself. The future will pose many challenges, but you will also come across new and promising opportunities. Allow me to share three key points to take note. First, embrace lifelong learning so that you will be relevant and ready for the changes in the coming decades. Second, keep fit and stay healthy because this will enable you to enjoy life to the fullest. And third, remember to help others with your talents, gifts and time because that's what will keep you happy. On behalf of the School of Business, we are all very proud of you and I wish you the very best for your future.
on your graduation. Well done on your graduation. Tanya semua. Warmest wishes on your graduation. Woo! Congratulations to everybody. Well done, students. Congratulations, graduating class. Congratulations and wish you success ahead. Yay! Good job, everyone. Happy graduation. Well done on your success. Wish you a happy convocation. All your hard work has paid off. Happy graduation! Hello, graduates. All of the hard work you put in has paid off. All the best for your future endeavors. And go out there and make a difference. Happy, Happy graduation! graduation. Ha! <laughs> ah, yeah, finally can go home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome to SUSS Convocation. Please be seated as the Convocation will begin shortly. As the Convocation is a formal occasion, may we request all graduates and guests to remain seated throughout the ceremony and for all mobile devices to be switched to silent mode. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem.
I declare this convocation open for the presentation of graduates for the degrees in business. Graduates, colleagues, families and friends. This year's convocation marks a historic occasion for SUSS as we proudly celebrate the graduation of our largest cohort ever, close to 3,000 graduates. Among you are the pioneer batch of our Bachelor of Public Safety and Security program. Congratulations and well done to all graduates. Your dedication and determination in reaching the pinnacle of your studies today have been remarkable and exemplify the true spirit of SUSS graduates. As you reflect on the completion of your university journey, many of you will be wondering if you have achieved your purposes and goals that you were seeking from your university education. All of you would have achieved the primary goal of earning a degree. Hopefully this will set you up for a productive career or enhance your capacity in your existing career. But did you get more than that from the university? How has the university equipped you with the knowledge, perspectives and attributes that will prepare you to face a future that will be volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous, all at the same time. Universities have been around for a long time. Nalanda in India, considered by historians to be the world's first residential university, was in existence from the 5th century to the 12th century. The oldest university that has not ceased operations since its founding is the University of Bologna in Italy, founded in 1088. Universities as places of learning have lasted because they continue to evolve, to make themselves relevant to changing circumstances. The university of the present and the future, if they are to continue to thrive, must therefore have the capacity to innovate, meet societal needs, create opportunities and respond to evolving challenges. I believe SUSS is such a university, an entrepreneurial university for social good. What do I mean? First, SUSS champions learning for life, which is critical for a world that is changing rapidly. Institutions of learning must play its role in enabling a population to deal with constant change and adaptation. SUSS engenders the spirit of continuous learning, encouraging its students to embrace an open-minded and receptive attitude towards constant improvement. Take the example of Vincent Lo, who exited a teaching career of close to 40 years and join our Juris Doctor program. Despite re-entering school at a mature age, he has attained commendable achievements, participating in competitions and conferences within the field and getting appointed as a class representative each year since joining SUSS. In his own words, SUSS has afforded him the opportunity to pursue his interest in law to embark on his next phase of life. He's now preparing for his bar examination and certainly an inspiration to all of us. Second, we enable purposeful pursuits. We hope to define success in the university not with a piece of paper, but with the actual realization of passion and purpose. We want students to explore their passions, discover purpose and contribute meaningfully to their academic pursuits, work and personal lives. One graduate who marries passion and purpose is Ho Li Shan, our Master of Social Work graduate. Before her studies at SUSS, she was already working with different segments of society, from migrant workers to the youths and the elderly. She was recommended by her mentors and friends to take up the program at SUSS to acquire applied knowledge and to pivot to a field that she is passionate in and called to serve. Even as she had encountered hurdles at work, home and in school throughout her studies, she remained undeterred and succeeded in embarking on this meaningful new career. Third, we honour resilience and determination, essential qualities that empower students to conquer challenges and achieve their goals in work and life. Learning for life is not merely about learning over the course of a lifetime. It is also about learning how to live a good and meaningful life. Know that Dira Fride, our early childhood graduate, epitomises this unyielding, tough-minded spirit to succeed in her studies. Over COVID, most of us faced challenges adjusting to the new norm. 
coming from a less well-to-do background, Nadira had to deal with far more unfavorable physical conditions of a rental home, which she shares with her mum and siblings during the circuit breaker phase. This involved spending around 10 hours a day of her time studying along the HDB corridor, but she made the most of her circumstances, finding creative ways to study and even forging good relationships with her neighbours over that time. I know many of you have had to overcome considerable challenges to get to this point, having to balance work, family and studies. Your achievements today speak of your ability to learn for life with purpose and resilience. These will position you well in life. Today, some people have questioned the value of degrees, arguing that conventional academic qualifications may not align with evolving, adaptable skills demanded by new industries or job roles. Some employers are also re-evaluating the hiring criteria and placing more emphasis on skills, potential and cultural fit. Amid debates about the value of traditional degrees in a rapidly changing world, SUSS stands as a testament to the enduring relevance of higher education and continuous learning. Our enrollment continues to grow since our inception and we now welcome nearly 5,000 students each year, full-time and part-time, into our university. As I said earlier, I would like to see SUSS embarking on a unique growth trajectory as an entrepreneurial university for social good in a phase of changing education, work and environmental demands. We can be a disruptor in this regard. We will not stand still but will strive to break new frontiers to deliver on our role as a university that inspires learning for life to impact lives and to redefine the meaning of education and success. How do we achieve this? First, we must stay closely connected to local and global communities and the larger ecosystem we serve. This will allow us to learn and understand needs, draw fresh insights, ideas and opportunities direct from the industry, enterprise and the community. This has enabled a continuous refresh of our curriculum and programs, including a new curriculum edition launched this year to keep our education agile and relevant. We must also leverage technology to design and deploy teaching and learning tools and platforms like the Digital Andragogy Blueprint for Singapore's workforce that was co-created by SUSS and Microsoft to enable educators to better leverage digital tools for adult education and learning. Second, Despite being the youngest autonomous university in Singapore, we must maintain relevance in offering a unique blend of full-time and part-time studies to a diverse learner base. From small beginnings compared to our industry peers, we have grown into a recognized university brand known for our lifelong learning education, applied research and impactful partnerships, offering over 90 stackable programs and close to 1,000 professional courses to learners and working professionals today. Finally, we must leverage on our core expertise in social sciences to generate impact in education and research for industry and society. One such example is our Nian Kongsi Social Impact Hub, established with the support of Nian Kongsi to promote an age-friendly Singapore served by our students, graduates, faculty and partners. The road to learning is a long one and it beckons us towards new vistas of discovery. So to our graduates, as you leave the university, remember that the university does not leave you. SUSS is your alma mater. Alma mater is a Latin phrase meaning nourishing and bountiful mother. I hope you will continue to regard SUSS as a source of strength and a beacon of guidance. Your journey as lifelong learners continues and I welcome you to return to learn with us anytime. As we celebrate your achievements today, I want to take the opportunity to honour and express our deep gratitude to your families, friends and everyone at SUSS who has supported you along this journey. As you go forth, remember that your legacy will not be defined by the loftiness of your titles or size of salaries, but by the lives you touch and the challenges you overcome and the contributions you will make in society. We believe you will all do SUSS proud. May your future be filled with optimism, purpose and fulfilment. Congratulations again, the graduating cohort of 2023.
Today, we are honoured to have Professor Emeritus Ko Hien Chai as our graduation speaker. Professor Emeritus Ko Hien Chai joined SUSS from NTU in 2006 and was appointed the first Dean of the School of Business when SUSS was then Sin University. In 2012, he was tasked to set up and head the University College, through which SUSS offered full-time programs in 2014. He was appointed Assistant Provost in 2015 and eventually went on to set up and head the Business Intelligence and Analytics Unit, which provides information for data-driven and evidence-based decision-making and planning in SUSS. He has also served as a statistical and data mining consultant to several SMEs and large corporations, and more recently, to volunteer centres and social service agencies. After over 40 sterling years in academia, he retired at the end of June, just last year. It is my honour and pleasure to welcome Prof Ko back as our graduation speaker for today's ceremony. Prof Ko, please. Mr. Richard Yu, Pro-Chancellor, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all of you and to all our graduates. Congratulations on the successful completion of your SUSS degree. This is an important milestone that you and your loved ones can be very proud of. This morning, I hope to share some thoughts about education and the SUSS Educational Philosophy of Hate, Heart and Habit. When I joined SUSS in January 2006, it offered only part-time programs to working adults. My students then were those who had missed doing a first degree for various reasons. Some were financially poor and could not afford to study full-time. Some were not academically gifted and could not enter the local universities. Some were either playful or immature and did not see the need for a degree in their younger days. My colleagues and I decided then that whether students were financially poor, academically not so gifted, or playful and immature, they deserved a good education. That was what the university was about and what we tried very hard to do. But what is education? Traditionally, education suggests training the mind and equipping it with knowledge. This relates to the head part of the SUSS educational philosophy. However, with rapid changes in knowledge technology and work, current theory and practice become obsolete quickly. Hence, education must not only train and equip the mind, but also help graduates to learn how to learn continually. Developing a lifelong learning mindset and skills comprise the habit part of head, heart and habit. But is education just about head and habit. How about heart? The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle said in the 300s BC that educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. While educating the mind makes us more knowledgeable and job ready, it is educating the heart that will make us more human. More than 2,000 years later, after Aristotle, the 14th Dalai Lama said this, the heart of education is the education of the heart. Albert Einstein also said 
1936, that education is what which remains if one has forgotten everything he learned in school. Education is what remains in you after what you have learned in SUSS is either forgotten or made obsolete. SUSS education has enriched your mind and enhanced your lifelong learning capability. But has it developed your heart? Has it changed you as a person to someone who has a heart for others, for the community, for those in need, for the underprivileged and the less fortunate? What does it mean to be a graduate with a heart? Be kind, be compassionate, and be caring. Have we not been in situations when we desperately needed help and some very kind person came along to help us, even strangers? In February 1985, on the way to the US for my doctoral study, my wife and I stopped over in Hawaii. It did not occur to us to book accommodation in advance. When we reached the airport, it was packed with people. All the hotels were fully booked. We were alone in a foreign land and did not know what to do. At this desperate moment, a big-sized, fierce-looking lady with a cigarette in her mouth approached us and said, Come with me. I will bring you home to stay with my family. I shall charge you a rent. Stay here while I call my parents to pick you up. We were strangers to each other. She called her parents and they came. Over the next few days, Mercedes, that was her name, took leave and with her parents brought us sightseeing. At the end of our stay, she did not charge us a single cent. These strangers were so kind to us and took good care of us without getting anything in return. My wife and I are not only indebted to them for the kindness, but also for what they have taught us about kindness about why the heart is such an important part of education and of who we are, and why kindness makes us more human. There was 1985. More than 20 years later, I had the privilege to be on the other side of the fence. I received a call from a desperate mother whose son was in prison. She asked if we could give him a chance to enroll in a diploma program. We said yes. The son studied and took his exams in prison and eventually graduated. Later, the mother called me. It was a short conversation, but I could hear the gratitude in her voice. I am very proud to be part of a university with a heart. Since 2020, the School of Business and the Singapore Prison Service, through the Prison School Project, have provided prison inmates with the opportunity to study with SUSS. The inmates can also continue their studies after completing their prison terms. The SUSS Online Learning Unit and the Center of Excellence for Social Good have also been involved in many social good initiatives to contribute to volunteer centers, social service agencies, those in need, and the community. Many SUSS students and graduates have also demonstrated the hard part of hate, heart, and habit. Some are here this morning. Jason Tan and Joshua Tan from marketing were pioneer members of an SUSS peer support group that planned and executed mental health and well-being programs for fellow students. 
They were also freshmen befrienders who supported and guided new students who came to SUSS. Clarence Tan and Wei Shen from accountancy engaged with seniors in failure, accompanied them for bonding activities and checked on their well-being. Avid Krishna, also from accountancy, conducted market research for the rollout of Makan Guru, a social enterprise to help hawkers with food delivery and decreased food traffic during the pandemic. How about the heart in you? You can use your professional and lifelong learning knowledge and skills for social good. Say, to help volunteer centres and social service agencies to serve their clients better. Whether they be special needs children and adults, persons with physical disabilities, the elderly, or persons from less privileged backgrounds. The analytics for social good project in the School of Business is a case in point. The opportunities to do social good are tremendous, but only if we are willing to take the first step. We can certainly help to make the community a better place. Education is not just about hate and habit. Education is also about heart, kindness, compassion, empathy, care, qualities that make us more human and that make the community a better place. Are you a graduate with a heart, a heart for others, for the community, for those in need, for the less fortunate? It is my sincere hope that wherever you are and whatever you do, you will always carry the SUSS education philosophy with you and be a graduate with hate, heart, and habit. Go make your mark. Thank you. The School of Business is pleased to commence the presentation of graduates for the class of 2023. Before we begin, we are proud to present a video of one of our graduates reflecting on his learning journey. Mr. Ryan Samuel Thomas graduates today with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Analytics. In my university journey, I learned that there are no limits in the pursuit of knowledge and life experiences. Do not be afraid to take on more, because only when you test your limits can you realise how much stronger you actually are. We have the power to make a lasting impact. By embracing our responsibilities, we create a world where fairness and equality prevail for all, forging a better future for society. As we journey into the future, we often leave something valuable behind, our footprint. We have to ensure that the footprints we leave are positive and enriching for the students of tomorrow. That's how we progress as a society together. Setbacks are part and parcel of life. Acknowledging setbacks and picking oneself up can be difficult, but it sets you apart from people who gave up trying, forging new paths ahead, I set out to be a better me each day. Giving up and shunning from responsibilities are easy. The real challenge is how to persevere and take on responsibilities. With each and every step I take, I face all challenges head on and seek a better tomorrow. I'm Ryan. I'm a graduate at SUSS from the School of Business. My grandfather and father were both heavily involved in grassroots initiatives way before I was born. To hear about and see their contributions to people within the community has really filled me with a sense of pride and has really motivated me as well to be of service to those around me in whatever ways I can. 
I believe in day-to-day -day kindness, and the biggest source of inspiration has always been my family and my partner. They have taught me empathy, how to recognize privilege, and that kindness does not always have to be a grand gesture. In SUSS, we had a particularly inspirational professor, Dr. Jess Tan. Dr. Jess Tan was very much like a mother to us. She often interacted with us and spoke to us about our own personal experiences before joining this profession. She mentioned the importance of considering the impact of work on people. This really has stuck with me and inspired me to ponder upon what impact I will be making in any career I choose to embark on in the future. During my time in SUSS, in addition to my academic workload and internships, my friend and I also created a student-led initiative for the Business Analytics Interest Group. This initiative was to introduce industry speakers and practitioners to hold a panel discussion where we would have the opportunity to interview them and to also get their insights on the business analytics landscape across different industries. What we hoped to achieve was to impart industry-specific knowledge to all business analytics students so that they are able to consider the practical applications of what they've learned in the real world. We took great care in properly establishing a rolling program such that future generations of BA students would continue to benefit from this long after we had graduated. The amount of growth I have experienced just by being around truly ambitious and highly intelligent people is tremendous. I was motivated by one Mr. Edgar Tan from SUSS Marketing. He really showed us that by putting in more effort and taking up more responsibilities, we could really aspire and climb new heights. During the pursuit of my degree, my family have made many sacrifices and have been very patient in supporting me through these four years of my university journey. To my friends, with all the late nights we have spent grueling over mentally draining and exhausting assignments. I really wish to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for putting up with me and I really hope that all of you all have enjoyed your time with me as much as I have with you. I remember putting it out there as a joke that we deserve a grad trip together to reward ourselves for surviving four years of university. It seemed really far-fetched because we had only been out for dinner fewer than five times together in our four years of university but I'm really glad that we eventually made this trip happen. When I first entered SUSS, a professor told us during orientation that there would always be opportunities for us and those opportunities could be found in our mail inbox. We would just have to act on any opportunities that interested us. I challenge all SUSS students, present or future, to fearlessly take action in your own lives and make your mark. I'm ready to go make my mark. Pro Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Accountancy has earlier been conferred. Adia Choi Sien Ti. Advait Krishnan. Agnes Prisha, daughter of Anselm Jiraja. This way. 
Ahmad Zul Daniel bin Abdul Razak. Aloysius Lim Y. Kit. Ang Ming Jun. Ang Yu Ting Grace. Annie Ong Jia Hui. Audrey Chua Wei Ping. Bei Boon Tech. Chan Xiang Ying. Chan Zimai. Charmaine Lo. Chen Jing. Chen Chi Shen. Chia Ming Shu. Chia Chong Yu Gerald. Cheng Jing Ying. Chong Chi Wen Daniel. Chao Zi Wei. Chua Heng Wei. Desmond Siu Wei Xiang. Fazana Begum, daughter of Syed Salia Hussein. <laughs> Genevieve Chu Chen Yi. <laughs> Go Tong Yun. Heng Zeming, <laughs> Huda Tan Tajudin, <laughs> Jairus Chan Chi Kiet. Janelle Lo Su Hui. (Applause) 
Jaslyn Pei Yun Xuan. Jace Lim Chia Yu. Jeremy Chang Cheng Pui. Jiang Nan. Ke Chi Hui. Clarence Tan Chen Wei. Ko Gyok Min Dion. Lai Wee Ling. Lao Shu Hui. Lee Chek Rui Glenn. Lee Elaine. Lee Eun Yi Karis. Lee Jia Xian. Lee Li Xuan. Lee Sin. Leonard Tan Guan Yang. <laughs> Liao Ying Ying Lynette. <laughs> Liu Min Min Gwina. Lim Chia Hui Michelle. Lim Shi Yong. Lim Yu Fei. Lim Yu Yang. Lim Chong Yi. Ling Jun Peng. Ling Yuan Sheng. <laughs> Loy Bin.
Lucas Lim Shi Jie. Lydia Xiao Hui Lin. Maya Pan Brinda. Michael Cheng Li Beng. Nazrul Hakim bin Kamal Baharim. Norazima binti Isnin. Nur Fazana binti Amran. Nur Sabrina binti Zapura. O Rui An Jermain. Ong Shui Chi. Pei Jia Hui. Pei Jia Xuan. Pereira Mahahewage Constance Nishi Sakya. Pang Wei Shun. Peng Yi Min. Po Jia Wen. Rachel Tan Shi Min. Rickman Tong Guan Hong. Rohan Thomas James. Sabiyula Wajiha Banu. Samuel Ang Ye Xuan. Sanda Win Tu. Sebastian Lo Wei Liang. Si Ming Chen Jason. Shami Mula Mansur Ahmad. Charmaine Li Wei Han. Han. 
Shemaine Ho Sin Ru. Shun Pei Ling, Felicia. Sung Valerie. Song Bing Hing. Soon Gyok Him. Su Wei Ping. Suresh Bathmanadan. Shaza Nurahira Binti Said Kamarudin. Tan Chun Le. Tan Guo Ching. Tan Guo Rong. Tan Hui En. Tan Sok Ki Cheryl. Ti Yap Hang. Tio Bo Wen Ernest. Yo Shumin Claire Tio Wan Yu Samantha Tong Wei Hui Tung Zi En Zachary Xiao Jianan Yang Li Chin Yong Chen Yu Chloe Yvonne Tan Hui Chen Zheng Lan Chuan Zhang Meng Jie Zhang Qing Ye
โจรันลินโปรชาสเลอร์เมย์ไอพรีเซนต์เดอะฟอลลิงกราดูเอทส์ของผู้มีปริญญาตรีหรือปริญญาตรีด้านสถาบันการแพทย์และสุขภาพสตรีถูกเลือกตั้งมาก่อนเหตุอับดุลรา z a k bin d a s i r a n Abida binti Muhammad Mubra. Ahmad Sholahuddin bin Ahmad. Burhan Nudin, Brian Cheng Chun Heng, Brian Tan Sheng Chang. Cheng Ho Ming, <clears throat> Daeng Mohammed Firus bin Ramli, <clears throat> Edri Amrul bin Shamsul Bahrin. Eric Tan Bing Siang, <clears throat> Fu Zhe Long, <clears throat> Go Chen Wei. Havinder Singh, son of Baljit Singh. <clears throat> Hasia bin Umar. <clears throat> Ho Tulin Jocelyn. Jainty, daughter of Karunai Palan. <clears throat> Kamala Veni, daughter of Chandran. <clears throat> Kisan Tamang. Ko Yao Tu, <clears throat> Lavindran Ilangavan, <clears throat> Lim Li Cheng. Manfred Samuel Quack, <clears throat> Mohammed Izurwan bin Sahir, <clears throat> p 
Muhammad Sufyan bin Wahid. Muhammad Iswandi bin Anwar. Muhammad Zulkifli bin Muhammad Masri. Muhammad Ada bin Muhammad Yusuf. Muhammad Fami bin Amir. Muhammad Fazri Muhammad Jailani. Muhammad Fadaus bin Ibrahim. Muhammad Fadaus bin Tahir. Muhammad Hafiz bin Manaf. Muhammad Lutfi bin Muhammad Hamdan. Muhammad Nasiruddin bin Kamal. Muhammad Nur Adli bin Abdul Zuko. Muhammad Rizwan bin Shine. Muhammad Sabil bin Surawan. Muhammad Shafiq bin Isnin. Nathan Lim Tzu Hao. Neo Tzu Hui Edmund. Nor Iqba Khan bin Jangir Khan. Nuraisha binti Abdul Rahman. Nur Hafiza binti Sulaiman. Nur Natasha Raisiliana binti Sharin. Ong Cheng Chuan Derek. Xiao Jing Yang. Siva Prasad Pile. Tan Kian En. Tan Chun Siong Gary.
To Han Yong. Yo Chang Chi Ricky. Yo Yong Chen Joash. Zulkanain bin Johari. Pro-Chancellor, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Science in Marketing has earlier been conferred. Afik bin Johairi. Aloysius Tian Chang Yi Amira Faria Binti Faja Ang Hui Xian Ang Teck Yi Terry Angeline Peng Shue Ting Anna Ng Ka Yi Ariel Rosalind Sim Kui Lin <laughs> Ashley Lim Xiao Yi <laughs> Esther Tan Li Ning Avila Ira Yesil Villa Cruz Benjamin Ting Bianca Annabel Raymond Bon Yan Han Timothy <laughs> Brandon Luke Chu Chen Long <laughs> Ye 
Brian Tan Yu Xiang. Brian Lu Yuan Shen. Carolyn Lo Chuan Ying. <laughs> Carrie Quack Miao Ling. <laughs> Celine Kerr. Chan Keng Xiang Charmin O Ling Yi Cheng Ye Yi Cheryl Neo Kai Yun <laughs> Chiu Nika Kwai Ling <laughs> Chen Yi Tong Christopher Gabriel Xia Ming Zi <laughs> Chua Jia Wei <laughs> Chua Rebecca Jamie Chua Siu Ting Mabel Clarissa Chua Sin Yi Daniel Lok Zhu Wang Daphne Ng Xiang Ling <laughs> Denise Lim Rui Han <laughs> Denise O Kai Ching Dylan Pang Hui Kai Dion Cheng Jun Yi Elizabeth Xia Ying Chao Elizabeth Yo Hui Min <laughs> Ellinghausen Eva Natasha Marilyn <laughs> Emily Tio Ming Hui Estelle To <laughs> e 
Pastor Chan Shu Hui. Eunice Lee Tzu Ning. <clears throat> Farashila Binti Muhammad Rashid. <clears throat> Felicia Ang Tia Ling. Philin Yo Yu Ling <laughs> Fok Chi Hung Ryan <laughs> Fu Mei Chi Sherry Fu Rene <laughs> Gung Wei Shen Kusala <laughs> Haris Ekwan Bin Yusri. Hazira Haril <laughs> Hung Ro En Ho Kok Cheng Sien Ho Si Ying Rachel Inessa Li Xuan Isabel Chan <laughs> Isabel Chiu Wen Ting <laughs> Ismail bin Adam Jaslyn Ao Yong Ying Wei <laughs> Jai Bunisa Binti Muhammad Yusuf <laughs> James Lai Ho Sien Janil Dilip Vaswani <laughs> Jet G. Joseph <laughs> Jeffrey Lee, Lee. Joel Cock <laughs> Jordan Ang Tzu Kai <laughs> Joshua Ang Chong Wa
Judila Gwyneth Mandapat. Kaisha Ayuni. Kan Ki Ren Keith. Kang Hui Ling Ilin. Kang King Kiet Darren. Karen Grace Lamper Tolentino. Kirthana Devi, daughter of Raga Sega. Ko Chia Sin Faith. Ko Eng Chan Remus. Kok Jun Hao. Quack Ming Fang Trudy. Lee Chien Kai Nicholas. Lee Min Xue. Lee Ming Jie. Lee Wen Ting Isabel. Lee Xiang Ying Amanda. Lee Xuan Hui Darren. Leong Chang Hong Justin. Leong Jit Wai Sapo. Leong Siu Wing Bellamy. Le Lin Xuan Shana. Liu Huan He. Liu Yu Ting. Liao Yi Xuan Rachel. Lim An Ji. Lim Henny. Lim Hui Min. Lim Min Xuan.
林思慧。林湘令，林文玲 Rosina， 林玉顺 Jonathan。Linus Chu Wei Kang, Lo Xiao Han Celeste, Lo Yue Ling. Lukash, son of Pani Selvan. <laughs> Lo Yan Guang, Gavin. <laughs> Luth Faris bin Fatul Ramin. Mathia Nuguit Fernandez. <laughs> Megan Lian Chong. <laughs> Magdalene Lee Li Shen. Marco Li Xiang Hao, <laughs> Muhammad Nafis bin Sengari, <laughs> Muhammad Safuan bin Norazan. Muhammad Taufik bin Sarif. <laughs> Nabila binti Ramad. <laughs> Neo Ching Wen Ruben. Neo Chao Zi, Nevel Li Zi Xian, Eng Jing Heng. Eng Li Xuan, Eng Wei Yi, Eng Xin Yi. Eng Yijing Melinda, Eng Zijie Jonas,
Nicole Peng Jingwen. Nicole Tan Yun Ning. Nor Atika Binti Aziz. Norjan Bergam Abdul Halim Raja. Nur Adiba Binti Rosli. Nur Adila Binti Muhammad Arif. Nur Afika Binti Ishak. Nur El Ramin bin Manaf. Nur Anisa binti Muhammad Shahan. Nur Azrina binti Abdul Hamid. Nur Elisha Lee binti Muhammad Iskandar Lee. Nur Izati Kwiratu Ain binti Muhammad Masho. Nur Shadrina binti Mustafa. Nur Shaharia Faraina binti Shaharuddin. Nurul Huda binti Abdul Habib. Ong Chun Min. Ong Gim Chu Sharon. Ong Kai Lee. Ong Pin Lee Valenis. Ong Shuen Han Bernice. Orja Ashok Menon. Hun Hui Ying Selina. Priscilla Paul Lee Lik Ting. Prudentia Eve Paul Nainen. Kaisara Patricia Binti Zulkifli.
Kaijano Adrian Sam Sorino. Rachel Lee Min Si. Rachel Wong Tia Lee. Regina Lo Hui Shen. Rina Kup Zi Ting. Ryan Han Wen Cho. Satyan Vani, daughter of Balan Krishnan. Si Jin Kang. Serafina Lauren Yap Hui En. Shafiq Hakim bin Abdul Wahid. Cheyenne Tan C. Kim. Sheetal Naya. Shemin Te Li Suan. Shim Pei Ying Amanda. Xie On Po. Sim Li Mei. Sim Shu Hui Samantha. Sim Shu Na. So Chun Hong. Tan Han Chiang. Tan Hui Ching Madeline. Tan Tia Yi Lois. Tan Ching Ting. Tan Kin Wa Joshua. Tan Li Ping. Tan Min Hao Edgar. Tan Min Yi.
Tan Wei Hong. <laughs> Tan Wee Kim. Tan Yi Ching. Tan Yi Zhen. Tan Yu Ying. Tan Zheng Yu. Tan Zhi Yao Nigel. Tan Zhi Xuan. Tang Jia Yu. Te Li Yen. Te Tim Gyok. Te Shue Ting. Te Yi Ling. Teo Da Yu. Teo Jack C. Amos. Teo Xue Ching Joycelyn. Tho Kai Ting. Tong Wei Hong. To Jia Ying Mavis. Wang Yu Fei. Wang Zi Xuan. Yahweh Ray Wu Yu Wei Yap Zi Yong Hugo Yasmin binti Muhammad Shafiq Ghanisan. Yo Hui Eng. Yo Siu Chia Christina.
Yong Wing Yung. Zoka Denise Roussel Belder. <laughs> Zoe Lee Ro Yu. We shall now present awards to graduates who have achieved outstanding performance. Pro Chancellor, may I present the following award winners for the degrees that have earlier been conferred. For the degree of Bachelor of Accountancy, winner of the ISCA Gold Award, the KPMG Award in Valuation, Governance and Risk, and the PwC Award in Financial Management Accounting, Leonard Tan Guan Yang. <laughs> winner of the ISCA Silver Award, Chao Zi Wei. <laughs> Winner of the ISCA Bronze Award and the BDO Award in Taxation, Samuel Ang Yu Xuan. Winner of the PKF CAP LLP Award in Assurance and Attestation, Heng Tzu Ming. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Marketing, winner of the Synergy Financial Advisors Gold Award, Jason Ao Yong Ying Wei. Winner of the Synergy Financial Advisors Silver Award, Ko Chun Hao. Winner of the Synergy Financial Advisors Bronze Award, Lo Yen Guang Gavin. Winner of the Binjai Tree Community Engagement Award, Arja Ashok Menon. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, we are honored to have Professor Emeritus Ko Hien Chai as our graduation speaker today. On behalf of the university, we would like to invite you to present a memento to Professor Ko. The valedictorian for the class of 2023 is Mr. Leonard Tan Guangyang, who graduated with a Bachelor of Accountancy. Mr. Leonard Tan will now deliver his speech. Mr. Richard Yu, 
Pro Chancellor SUSS, Professor Ko Hien Chai, Professor Emeritus, and Adjunct Professor, Office of the President, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning. My name is Leonard. It is a great honor to stand before you today as a graduate of Bachelor of Accountancy from the School of Business. I would like to express my warmest congratulations to each and every one of my fellow graduates. Reaching this milestone has not been an easy feat. Our time at SUSS has been an incredible journey, one that has transformed and equipped us with valuable life lessons. Reflecting on our journey, we sometimes joke that SUSS stands for Singapore University of Self-Studies. In certain ways, there is some truth behind that joke. As students, we have grappled with the demand of a tight curriculum, mastering subject within a mere six weeks. We have often felt the weight of endless quizzes and assignments that seem to perpetually pile up no matter how diligently we work to clear them. And not to mention the class participation marks which required countless hours of self-study during our limited free time. While we may have complained along the way, these challenges have instilled in us the discipline of independent learning and problem solving, qualities that are crucial in the workforce. I have come to realize that the responsibility for our education lies ultimately with us, not others. In addition to managing our academic responsibility, we have often found ourselves under the pressure to secure multiple internships and engage in a plethora of extracurricular activities. These efforts were driven by the desire to enhance the visibility of our resume in today's increasingly competitive society, all with the hopes of achieving various goals, such as our dream job or a higher starting salary. For some of us, the quest for internship began as early as our first year of university. As we dedicated ourselves to enhancing our portfolios, sacrifices were inevitable. Often, our precious time with our family and friends had to take a back seat. The COVID-19 pandemic presented further challenges to our journey. The sudden transition to online classes and examination deprived us of vital human interactions while testing our adaptability and resilience. Now, as we witness the emergence of artificial intelligence technologies like ChatGPT, we are compelled to adapt even further. Our learning journey does not stop here. In this context, I want to recognize the diversity of students that represent the symbol of lifelong learning within our SUSS community. Among us are working adults who have juggled school assignments with their professional and family commitments. Their unwavering determination and dedication serve as an inspiration to many of us. Undeniably, our education journey entailed numerous sacrifices in one way or another. Attaining this milestone is nothing short of momentous. However, as humans, we may find ourselves comparing our achievements with those around us or even with our counterparts from other universities. While healthy comparison can serve as motivation for improvement, I believe that excessive comparison can be the killer of joy. The grass is greener where we water it, and today, let us celebrate this significant milestone that we have achieved. On this note, I would like to appreciate the immeasurable guidance that we have received from our faculty and the unconditional support from our family and loved ones. Without your guidance and support, we would not have come so far. On behalf of my fellow graduates, thank you for making this possible. At this juncture, I would like to invite all graduates to please rise and face your loved ones. Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to our parents, loved ones, and the university for making this day possible for us. Let's give them our warmest round of applause. Please be seated. As we bid farewell to SOSS, SOSS for now, for I'm sure that we'll be back for alumni activities and to upgrade our knowledge and skills as lifelong learners, 
Let us let embrace the lesson learned, the friendship forged, and the experience gained. Armed with knowledge and resilience, I'm confident that each one of us will go on to make a profound impact in our respective fields. To the class of 2023, congratulations once again on completing this remarkable journey. I wish you the very best. Thank you. Coming up next is a video performance by SUSS graduate Ms. Jane Lee and SUSS alumnus Mr. Hairu Anwar with their rendition of the university song Onwards and Beyond. The university congratulates all graduates on the achievement of this significant milestone, our graduation. Enjoy. and daring hopes that are kindled with the dreams that we know can come true I declare this convocation closed. Please rise for the national anthem. <laughs>